Hey guys, it's Brendan. By the way, that audio guide today, I'm going to show you how to route battery four to multi outputs on Logic Pro X. So first, you got to make sure that you have battery four inserted, okay? And then you click right here and go up here, and instead of stereo, you can do these multi outputs. So we are going to do 16x mono or stereo. Those are what we're going to focus on. I'm going to do stereo just in case there's some samples that use the stereo field. Okay, so now that's selected on there, then we open up our battery. And we will open up just the Hexenhaus kit. All right, so if you right click on here, then you do output and then you do direct out. So now it's gonna send it to these certain outs, right? So we can just go forward and change these guys, blah, 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 output like this. Now, if we head back to Logic, we open our mix window, then you will see this little plus button right here. So what that does is when you click on it, it will start opening up the specific outputs that you told it of how many you want to have, right? So we have 16 stereo outputs. So we're gonna get essentially 16 tracks that are stereo. So this first guy right here is our kick, right? So it's coming out here and then it's coming out the parent track. So if we just name this to kick, then we know that's kick. This guy is going to be our snare, okay? And then if you want them to show up over here and you can just select these, and do create track. And now all of a sudden you have this information coming out of here. So let's just record something. So now what's cool is you have all of this stuff in this parent folder and it's coming out of these tracks so you can individually manipulate. So let's say we don't want that kick to sound that way so we can just EQ out this and we want to cut out the low end on that snare and make it a little bit brighter. So you can do that instead of manipulating your parent track. Right, so now you can manipulate these individual pieces. And then of course to add more, you just start routing more tracks through your battery. Like this. All right. It's that easy. All right, guys, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and sign up for the email list where I will send you exclusive content and also head over to the website, itsthataudioguide.com, and I will see you guys soon.